Now we're going to use the flexible curve to make a measurement of Bijou's wither. To begin, we're going to be sure that she's standing square, and we want her head and neck to be in front of her in a neutral position like she is, the way she carries her head and neck when you're riding. You may want an assistant to help keep the horse's head straight and to keep her quiet and still. And the importance of having the neck in the same position it is when you're riding is that raising and lowering the neck dramatically changes the angle of the horse right here in the area of the wither and shoulder where we'll be measuring. To find the proper spot to take your measurement, we're going to look for the place where the front edge of your saddle tree fits, which is behind the back edge of the scapula. The bony mass of the scapula should be easy to find and feel on most horses. If your horse is very fleshy, you may have to press quite hard to find the scapula. You'll take two fingers, putting your middle finger behind the bony mass of the scapula, and your index finger will represent the line where you'll lay your flexible curve. With your middle finger against the scapula and your index finger marking the front edge of your saddle, and we're going to take this measurement where the front edge of your saddle would sit. Your flexible curve should be marked with a mark in the center, and be sure to put that center mark directly on top of the wither of the horse. And then form the curve to the horse's body, gently pressing up and in. And the intention is to have the curve lying completely on top of the surface of the horse without digging in and without gaps. You'll go around to the other side and form the curve to the horse's body on the, being sure you're still your two fingers behind the scapula. The tricky part is being careful to remove the curve from the horse without distorting the shape that you've just carefully formed. And so we're going to reach over and take each leg of the curve, flip it onto your hands, and carefully, without distorting the shape, come to the paper you've prepared and lay the curve down. You'll then take your marker, mark the center, and then supporting the curve, trace the inside. Mark an R for the right side, an L for the left. Note the horse's name and the date. And you've now completed your wither tracing behind the shoulder.